What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment and I'm here to bring you my weekly video. You know what time it is? It's time for my weekly predictions video for the upcoming game this Saturday versus Rutgers. And let me just start by saying this is I'm not gonna say it's any do or die game or it's one of those games where you know the season's on the line because that game was over with. That was last week. But this is going to be a nice measuring stick game, I think. And the reason I say this is because definitely this is a game that we should win. But to me, it's going to show how well that, or not I'm going to say how well, but how much we've, you know, changed from the past season to this season. And it's going to be a good marker also to see, you know, what type of run-in we're going to have with Ohio going down the road. Because I don't expect us to be scoring like we did last season against these guys. It's not going to be 78-0. That's out the, you know, that's out. That's not going to happen. But what I'm concerned about to see is what the score actually is going to be. I mean... If we struggle against these guys again, like we've been struggling against all these other se uh, teams during the season, it's just, just it's going to be bad business all the way around. This should be a game that we, I mean, we should be able to dominate these guys from start to finish. But, I don't know. You know, I think since last season to this season, they've improved as a team. And with all the losses on all you know all of our positions all across the board, we've taken a step back. So this is not going to be one of those juggernaut, you know, goomba stomp games where we're just blowing these guys out the water. Um, you know, I don't think it's going to be a struggle either. But I don't think it's going to be one of these blowouts where it's like thirty-five to zero halfway through the second quarter. What well, I think is going to be important is, you know, I, I hope that we can at least get to a point where, you know, we can give other guys a shot. I don't want it to be a game where John, because John O'Corn's going to start again. That's Harbaugh's pretty much said that he's going to be the starter until otherwise. So it is what it is. But I'd at least like to see, you know, Peters get in, see what he can do. I mean, it would be nice to see him get some reps, some actual game reps, not, you know, one series left in the fourth quarter with three minutes to go and all you do is just hand off the ball and run out the clock. I'd like to really legitimately see him run the offense, try and get a scoring drive going here and there, all that good stuff. So, hopefully that happens. If not, we're just going to see a whole boatload of John O'Corn again, which is not very exciting. Um, as I said in my takeaways and analysis video from last week, um, I don't think that was all on John O'Corn. Um, I think that he did a decent amount job, you know, running the offense last week. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't great. He missed some easy throws, but... He just didn't have the time to really get anything going. I don't, I'll be honest with you, if Tom Brady was back there, he was probably going to get sacked that many times because nobody's blocking. I mean, he's not having enough time to to get to his next option, and these guys are not, for whatever reason, these guys are not getting open. Now, I don't know if it's from just the lack of experience, bad route running, um... I don't know what it is, but a combination of them not getting open and him not having patience or any trust in the line is just a bad rep. It's just a bad recipe for disaster. So, I mean, that's where we're at as far as that goes. Um, so, you know, are we gonna are we gonna win? Yeah, but to me, it's key is how well are we going to win? Is it going to be winning going away? Or is it going to be one of these 20-point wins where, you know, we pull away in the second half like we've been doing all season when we win? 
that's going to be the key to tell me, you know, what we're made out of. So far this season, that's how we've won, like, almost every single game. It hasn't been one of these games where we played great football from start to finish, where we just got out to a lead and just cruised and just continued to play good football. It's always been first half struggle, second half, you know, the defense takes over and then the offense starts to score points and then we pull away and make the game look less close than it's been for these last few games. So, you know, I'm not surprised that we dropped out the top 25. It was expected, you know, the way we got just smashed. And, you know, we still have the whole season ahead of us. Uh, just, you know, more games to play, more games to win. Um, and we just have to take it game by game. You know, a lot of these fans and a lot of uh, sports writers and prognosticators and every they're all down on on Michigan football and I haven't lost any faith in the in the program or in Harbaugh and what he's doing I knew this was going to be a down year I knew this was going to be a year where we were in between being great or not so you know being five and two at this point in time is not that it's not that big of a deal. What I prefer is to be seven and zero, oh, obviously, but you know, you just have to take the best, you know, the best things, and try and build on them. And whatever negatives are, you know, going on right now with us, we just have to try and grow from them and get better. So that's it for my video. Like I said, uh, it's gonna be a win for us. It's gonna, you know, be double digit win. I just hope that it's not one of those close games where we're only winning like 10 to 3 at halftime or something like that. We need to blow these guys out the water and then just cruise for the rest of the game. So, anyways, thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, definitely feel free to leave a like on the video. And, um, you know, if you enjoy my content, definitely try to share this with as many people as possible. And, um, you know, if you like my my content definitely subscribe to the channel uh, we're still growing you know every week I'm, you know we're growing and I just want to get even bigger and bigger and bigger so anyway subscribe to the channel is definitely gonna help me to get the discussion going on a wider scale so thank you for watching and have a great day peace